what is the importance of fallopian tubes why fallopian tubes are very important these are the fallopian tubes we have two fallopian tubes uh, besides the uterus actually the fallopian tubes are very thin where the fertilization uh, occurs actually this is this is very very important for a female to have fertilization very properly in a very proper time where this happens why these tubes are very important these tubes are very thin and if there is any infection if the tubes are very sensitive uh, if the pelvic inflammatory disease develops these tubes will have like will get affected very easily so the fertilization problem will occur so and even you don't even go for any abortion willingly sometimes few people will wants to go for abortion no you don't go for any abortion suppose in the um, uh, if you are undergoing abortion sometimes the infection uh, the may, uh, the infection will come to tubal end if you don't use proper antibiotics if you don't want to tell that you have undergone abortion maybe many unmarried people also will uh, undergo abortion don't go abortion don't go for pregnancy before marriage because it is very dangerous and after that you have to develop you will develop the infertility problem and suppose after marriage also many people they don't uh, they want to settle in a good way in a big way what is big way one baby you have and after that 3 uh, 4 years you take gap and if you want one more baby if you want to have one more baby you can undergo the procedure or uh, fertilization later you can utilize some of the drugs or oc pills or any other property multi load or some kind of things or you can use the barrier uh, method like uh, uh, condoms or whatever you can use uh, as uh, contraception but uh, whenever the tubes are very thin because the tubes are very thin sometimes no actually many people will tell uh, no no one tube is problematic one tube is normal no but usually the uterus is so small the tubes are uh, just beside uh, each other if one tube is getting affected the other tube also gets affected sometimes the tubes for outside it is very normal they look like normal but the inside flagella and cilia will be getting affected sometimes the fertilization also will not affect uh, will affect uh, sometimes uh, the ectopic pregnancy may occur because of the previous infections sometimes fertilization may not occur sometimes um, people they have to go for the higher procedures like ivf and icsi if the tubes are problematic suppose if a bone is fractured if the leg is fractured for a uh, person or uh, hand is fractured for a person even though we go for pop that is the plaster of paris uh, uh, slabbing and uh, otherwise uh, some normal uh, kind of uh, uh, operation that is uh, nail fixing or plate fixing whatever it is even though after the operation also there will be non union or mal union this kind of big structure only actually it is getting affected and if we want to take with this hand again we have to again move front and then we have to take this and we cannot use um, our hand very properly after any surgery in the same way this is very small micro uh, microscopical uh, structure and the inside uh, structures are microscopical and very thin tube and inside actually very small way of um, uh, way where the fertilization occurs and in this kind of things actually if there is any thing uh, any flagella or cilia affected or the tubal uh, fluid is affected then the fertilization process will be hampered so this tube will not regain its normal shape it is very thin part so once it gets affected it's gone so if you undergo micro surgery also many times micro surgery after micro surgery also you will not get the pregnancy because the inside structures will be getting affected means the fertilization process will be hampered so you have to go for ivf in that kind of cases so be careful don't go for any un unwanted abortions don't go for any like if suppose if you any urinary tract infection any other infection if you get immediately you go to doctor and you get it treated because few persons so tubes are very very sensitive they will get infection means like it's gone so be careful with the fallopian tubes take immediate treatment if they are having any problem